Welcome to day two of the Global Basketball Summer League from Las Vegas. Sean Wally alongside DJ Balvin as we get set for game number one. Kosovo against Point Streak. Should be a good contest, DJ. Yeah, it's going to be a really good game. Uh, both teams are going to be really uh, close game eventually. So um, hopefully it'll be another good game today. We're set for the tip here in Las Vegas. And it is battle four and one. Yesterday in day one, four 10 minute periods. Boggs with the shot, it does not go. Clark with rebound. Point streak on the run. Giving it back to Kosovo. 9.29 to play. We have no score here in the first period. Dixon across half court. Looking off the screen. Ball is turned over. Point streak on the run. Nervous. Coming in, trying to get a job overseas. And hopefully they can get picked up. First basket is made by Whitfield for Point Street, a 2-0 lead. Nine minutes to play in the first period. Just looking at the faces of all these guys, you can see how bad they want it, how bad they want to be playing overseas. And um, you can see in the games, as they get closer and closer, the intensity um, rises more and more as the time goes down. So um, hopefully we'll see more great action just like that today. We've got our first foul of the game was Whitfield for point streak and now driving into the lane. The bucket is good for Kosovo. Sending Sankey to the line. He has an opportunity for an and one. Game is tied at two. Sankey, a 6'5 guard, misses the shot. Point streak on the attack. For point streak, Tomiko Robinson has been playing really good. Um, yesterday, he had about 20 points. Wow, and the slam by Joel Clark. Joel Clark doing good things down low, finding the rim and hammering it home. Four to two point streak. Kosovo into the lane. Ball is loose. Point streak looking to pick it up. They finally do. Attacking the rack. Down low. They go to Whitfield and Flanard. Whitfield hammers it home. And Sean, that's beautiful ball movement. Whenever you're playing, you always want to look in, uh, for other teammates. And that was just a beautiful example of some beautiful ball movement. Great job by point streak. Three ball straight away, top of the key, off the back of the iron. Point streak again on the attack to the rack. Chris McNeely lays it up and in, and just like that, it is eight to two. And Point streak on the attack. Excuse me, in this first couple minutes, you can tell that point streak's gonna be really fast paced. And um, it's hard to wonder um, how, oh, excuse me, there's a, oh. Offensive, I believe. You can see how uh, point streak is going to be really fast paced, and we're just going to be wondering if Kosovo is going to keep up with it as the game progresses. Leonard Whitfield called for traveling, giving the ball back to Kosovo. Kendrick, the jumper from the elbow, shot is short. The ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Kosovo. Point streak to take over with an 8-2 lead, 7.06 to play here in Las Vegas. We have a pressure defense on the point guard, uh, Mark Marquez Hoskins. And um, it's probably just 
uh, a defense to try and slow the ball down. And we have a foul and one. Hoskins with the shot in front of Kosovo's bench. Shot is good. He will get a free throw with attempt at a three-point play. Point streak now up eight, 10 to two. Foul shot is good, now 11 to two. You have to wonder if Kosovo is struggling with this early 10 a.m. start, PJ. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, late night of just preparing and just thinking about how the next game is gonna go. Uh, just the nervousness again, uh, just hoping that they can just play as hard as they can and hopefully get picked up. It's a real nerve, uh, nerve wracker. Shots are falling for point streak. Tamiko Robinson nails the three, 14 to four. And you have to wonder if Kosovo and head coach Ricky Cleveland George might want a timeout to regroup. Yeah, this pace is fast and the defense is really good by point streak. And um, Kosovo is trying hard, but the defense is just too good and it's showing right now on the score. Three ball doesn't go for point streak. Ball is tipped around. The short run by point streak and, Lu and coach Ricky calls a timeout. 16 to four the count, 538 to play. First quarter, Global Basketball Summer League here on Global Basketball TV. We'll be back after this. Uh, one thing we can do to help each other, if this stuff's in the way or people are in the way we yeah. can't see, uh, we can point to who's got the ball or who made the shot. Oh, yeah. Um, that way if we're lost and the other one knows who it is. Yeah. Welcome back to the Global Basketball Summer League in Las Vegas. Sean Wally alongside PJ Balbin. And we have Kosovo with the ball against Point Streak. And right now it's all Point Streak 16 to four. Yeah, Point Streak came and you can tell they're ready to play. Uh, a beautiful run, beautiful ball movement. They're playing really good team basketball. And um, you can see that this morning. A great skip pass down low by point streak to Flanard Whitfield. He cannot get the shot to go, but he is fouled and he will head to the free throw line for two shots. You know, PJ talking to both coaches this morning, they each want their team to be up tempo and have confidence that they say they didn't have yesterday when each team lost and that confidence is key in not only basketball but everything you do. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, most of these guys are really nervous again, uh, trying to get a job anywhere they can play. So um, Coach Ricky and Coach Lewis uh, really want these guys to be playing hard and uh, forget about trying to make it. They just want them to come out and play and the way they play and their hard work will show 17 to four after one made free throw. Five minutes to play in the first period. Ball is volleyed around. Point Street comes away with the steal into the lane, the lane and up and in. The bucket is good. And that is Hoskins with the nice layup and he will head to the line with an attempt at a three point play. Beautiful play. Uh, always, whenever you want to get on a fast break, you want to just drive and attack. 
Uh, beautiful play and beautiful finish. 20 to four the count. Point streak all over Kosovo here in this first quarter. Folks, you can just see on the court the, just the hard defense and a little bit of frustration uh, showing in Kosovo. An offensive foul on Stephen Harris giving the ball back to point streak. They're already up 20 to four. Only two baskets made by Kosovo here in the first five and a half minutes of the game. For only being uh, here for two days and the way they run their offenses is just crazy. Only one practice, one game, and the way they flow together is just crazy. Point streak finally missing a shot. Kosovo on the attack. Shot is no good, but there for the tip is Corey Chandler finally getting some points on the board. 20 to six, point streak in command. Partial rejection there, and back comes Kosovo. You can see in the phases of Kosovo how uh, frustrated they are uh, with the way the score is going and the way they're playing right now. You can't be happy if you're Coach Ricky. Buchanan driving the lane. The nice runner is good from about six feet. 20 to eight. Kosovo needs to take advantage of every possession. And the beautiful pass. Oh, and a block. Ball stripped away by Kosovo. Chandler with it. Swings it around to Boggs. And away from the ball, we have a foul. Flanard Whitfield of Point Streak hit with the foul. Yesterday, Brandon Boggs was a human uh, mixtape yesterday. He was making putback dunks, beautiful shots. He was carrying that team on his back yesterday. Stephen Harris to inbound on the far side for Kosovo. Sankey to Harris, just across the half court stripe. Finds Chandler into the lane. The floater is good, 22 to 10. Kosovo in command. Even though that shot looks easy, that's really difficult and that's all thanks to the defense to point streak. Top of the key, the jumper by John L. Young is good. Shot by Boggs is good, mid-range. 22-12, point streak by 10. 2.20 to play here in the first period. We've got a steal by Kosovo on the run into the lane. That is Corey Chandler. He is fouled. Shot does not go. He will head to the free throw line for two shots. Kosovo's Corey Chandler, a 6-2 guard for point streak. That is John L. Young hit with the foul. You, that's a very good foul in the eyes of point streak. Lewis Lofton. Uh, can be very happy with that foul, even though it's kind of cheap. You want them to earn it at the free throw line, and that's the strategy right now. Kosovo needing to take advantage of every opportunity at the free throw line right now. Number one, it stops the clock. Number two, it is a free opportunity at points. First free throw is good. You know, PJ, each of these coaches knows each other well. They've known each other here at the Global Basketball Summer League for three years now. Lewis Lofton has two championships. Ricky Cleveland George still looking for his first. Yeah, most definitely. They've been uh, battling for the three years they've went against each other. And last year, Coach Lewis Lofton took the championship from Ricky, and that was a beautiful game. So hopefully we're thinking this can be the people's championship to say. 
Kosovo heading back to the free throw line after getting the rebound and getting fouled down low. Just like that, it's 22-15. Kosovo trying to climb back in this contest. Two minutes to play in the first period. Kosovo scrappy, the ball on the floor. They come away with it. Looking down low, Kosovo finds Brandon Boggs and he is fouled heading to the free throw line. Head coach Ricky Cleveland George finally liking the attitude on the floor from his team. Definitely, that's also a point streak showing and uh, you gotta earn it at the free throw line and hopefully Brandon Boggs can earn that. Boggs, a 6'5 guard out of Western Carolina, knocks down the first free throw. Sean Wally with P.J. Balvin here at the Las Vegas Doolittle Community Center for the Global Basketball Summer League. Boggs missed the second free throw. Inside of two minutes, first period. Ball out of bounds, last touched by Kosovo. Ball lost by Latif Rivers from Wagner College. He's 6'1", and he's from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Twenty-two, sixteen. the count. It's been a while since Point Streak has put points on the board. Ironic, isn't it, Sean? Rivers, top of the key, goes outside to Hoskins. Ball is poked away by Corey Chandler. Out of bounds, last touch by Chandler, so Point Streak maintains possession. You viewers might be wondering, maybe Coach Ricky and Kosovo are making their little run for themselves. Now it's not 22 to four, it's 22 to 16. Three ball on the way by Hoskins. Skims off the far side of the rim. Kosovo on the attack. A hard foul down low as Keon Sankey is hammered to the floor and he will head to the free throw line giving Kosovo another opportunity to get even closer here in the first period. You gotta be thinking in Coach Lewis's head, uh, maybe a timeout, maybe a substitution and try and change the pace and um, the attitude of the players. You know, PJ, it's really been a tale of splitting the first period into two separate parts. Point Street got out to the huge lead first part of the first quarter, and the second five minutes has pretty much been all Kosovo. Most definitely. Um, after that timeout, you could see the uh, persona and attitude. Oh, wow, with the hard block. You can see the attitude change and that they want it, they want it now, and they're ready to play. Chris McNeely attacking the rack for Point Streak. A good block down low by Kosovo. Finally, a foul called on Point Streak. Head coach Lewis Lofton does not agree. Kosovo back to the free throw line, only down 22-17. Corey Chandler to the line for Kosovo. First free throw on the way and good. <laughs> One of the reasons Kosovo has come back a little bit is from their free throws. They've rarely missed any, so they're making it and it's getting them inch by inch closer. Second free throw, down and in. Don't look now, it's only a three point game. 22-19, full court press applied by Chandler. Rivers across half court for point streak. Got a foul away from the ball. Ever since they were trying to come back, you can tell that Kosovo's playing a lot more intense defense, and you can see uh, 
it's a lot harder to inbound the ball and get the ball down the floor for point streak. And last foul on Chandler. Shot is missed by McNeely. Kosovo can tie the game with a three. A two is off the mark from the baseline. Back comes point streak. 40 seconds to play in the first period. McNeely out of the corner. The long two is good. 24-19. Point streak by five. I don't know if the viewers can see the lines, but um, in college, the second line is where the actual three-point line is, and you can see the distance in between, so it must be a really hard adjustment for these players. Got a foul on Brandon Boggs of Kosovo, the push down low. Point streak will have the final shot if they so choose. Just 20 seconds to play in the first period. The shot clock is off. Hoskins looking like he will hold for the final shot. Six seconds to play. Rivers, the three. No good. Ball is tipped. Kosovo comes away with it. And that will end the first period of play. 24 to 19, point streak up by five. We'll return with the second period of play after this. This is Global Basketball TV, the Global Basketball Summer League. Welcome back to the Global Basketball Summer League in Las Vegas. Sean Wally alongside PJ Balbin. Game number one, day number two of the international portion of the tournament. 24-19, point streak ahead of Kosovo. Point streak with the ball. Yeah, beautiful verse quarter. Both teams had runs halfway through. Ooh. Young with the nice drive, but he cannot finish. Kosovo the rebound. Ball is loose under their own basket. They pick it up. But we have a turnover. Point streak will take over. That turnover is by Stephen Harris. Stepped out. Point streak to inbound. 9.30 to play in the first half. 24-19 the count. It was away from the ball. We have an offensive foul. Turnover back to Kosovo. A sloppy start to this second period. You can tell that Kosovo has finally got out of bed per se. Uh, they made their run and now they're within five points. <laughs> Dixon the skip pass inside to Kendrick. And we have a foul on the floor. Foul on Dana Kendrick of Kosovo. Point streak takes over. 
Robinson down low to Whitfield. The turnaround floater rattles around and falls. 26-19 with 8.55 to play. That is a beautiful move by a post, and we call that the dirt. And um, what a just beautiful execution, beautiful shot, beautiful form. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Kosovo, top of the key, into the lane. Ball on the hip. Could have been a travel there. Ball is loose on the floor. We've got a jump ball called. Point streak looking for the travel, but they do not get it. Dana Kendred to jump with Chris McNeely. 26-19, point streak ahead by seven. Just one second on the shot clock. Not sure if that gets reset or what happens there. It does not. Shot thrown up and we have a shot clock violation. Kosovo never got the ball off the rim point streak to inbound on the far sideline. And you're hoping to see who's going to make the run and who's going to be making the shots this quarter. Is it going to be point streak or if it's going to be Kosovo? Interesting there. Looks like point streak lost it out of bounds, but the official said the ball went off of him, so he gives it back to point streak. There's always a controversy between refs and players, whether it be in the actual game or um, fouls called or whatever, but um, having the ref, oh, and then we have a foul. Number seven goes to the line. Chris McNeely, the nice shot. He's knocked down to the hardwood and he will head to the free throw line. Eight nineteen to play in the first half. McNeely converts on the three-point play. As this game gets closer and closer, free throws are going to be the most important aspect, or if uh, the most important aspect of this game. Every point counts. Apparently, they did not give McNeely the bucket, so he got two free throws, knocked them down. Twenty-eight nineteen. Kosovo on the attack. Shot is good straight away by Sankey. 28-21, point streak by seven. Whitfield calling his own number from about 17 feet. Shot does not fall. Kosovo looking to cut into this point streak lead. Kendred, the skip pass down low on the block to Sankey. Back to Kendred, the long jumper off the back side of the iron. The big man grabs the rebound with authority right there. Robinson outside to Hoskins. Hoskins, the skip pass on the block to Whitfield. Five to shoot. Whitfield loses the ball. We have a whistle, Whitfield wanted a foul. I don't think he got the call he wanted. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Kosovo. Two to shoot, point streak inbounds, does not get a shot off the rim. Kosovo back on the attack. Layup does not go by McChristian. That's beautiful defense on the fast break to stop the shot, that shows beautiful hustle right there. Robinson with it for point streak. Swings it around to Young. Young looking down low. Instead, he goes in front of Kosovo's bench. Finds McNeely, who can't get the shot to go. If point streak wants to extend their lead even more, they need to get back to that fast pace that they started off with. Sloppy play by both teams. Finally, Kosovo ahead on the breakaway. The flush by Stephen Harris, 28-23, five-point point streak advantage. You got to give Coach Ricky Cleveland-George credit uh, for calling that timeout earlier in the first quarter. Ever since that, 
uh, happened. Just some beautiful play came out of Kosovo out of nowhere. And you can see the momentum is their way right now. Running the floor very well is Stephen Harris, who gets a nice layup. And just like that, it is 28-23. Timeout on the floor. 5.52 remaining first half. We'll return after this from the Global Basketball Summer League. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, the Doolittle Community Center, the site for the Global Basketball Summer League. Sean Wally alongside PJ Balbin. And we've got a nice contest here, 28-25 point streak by three over Kosovo with 5.50 to play. Hopefully this timeout taken by Coach Lewis Lofton will change the momentum just like Coach Ricky Georges took uh, last quarter. Point streak with good ball movement, but Hoskins shot. Karam's off the rim. Now we have a steal. Kosovo turns it over. Rivers and point streak on the run. Into the lane. He finds Whitfield for the hammer dunk. 30 to 25. 514 to play in the first half. Only halfway through the second quarter, you can tell this is gonna be a fight to the very last whistle. Speaking of whistles, on cue we have a foul. Kosovo to inbound on the far side. Sankey directing the offense top of the key. Finds Thompson. Thompson working off the screen. Straight away to Sankey. Down on the baseline. We have a shot clock violation. Kosovo not paying attention. Turnover to Point Streak. Some great defense by Point Streak. You can tell uh, that timeout really helped. Hoskins walking the ball up across half court. Finds Whitfield. Swing it around to Clark. His shot is high arcing and Karam's off the rim. Kosovo back with the ball on the attack. Kosovo shot by Sankey, clangs off the rim. Rivers in front of the Kosovo bench, shot is too far. Three ball, doesn't go. Kendrick can't get it to fall. That was a Steph Curry pull up shot right there. Rivers feeling it again. This time he knocks it down for three in front of the Kosovo bench. 33-25, an eight-point point streak advantage. Going hard into the left side of the lane is Brandon Boggs. He is fouled as Flanard Whitfield called for the block. On the other end, that was a beautiful shot by Rivers. You could tell by the way he went up and his form, you could tell before he even let go of the ball it was going in. Boggs misses the first free throw. Trying to cut into this eight point lead. 
four point streak. 3.44 to play in the first half. Second free throw is good. Full court press applied by Kosovo, easily broken by point streak. That press is, uh, even though it's getting broken, it's working really well for Coach Ricky George. Shot by Rivers, misses. Rivers feeling it from three, can't get that shot to go from the far baseline. Kosovo into the lane. We have a whistle and a jump ball is the call. That full point. Uh, full court pressure by Kosovo is working really good. It's slowing the pace down, and that's exactly what Coach Ricky George wants. Dixon for Kosovo will jump with Robinson for point streak. Kosovo in the blue, point streak in the white. Robinson won the tip, but tipped it right to Kosovo. Thompson. In front of the point streak bench, wisely brings it outside to reset the offense. The interior pass is tipped away and stolen by Rivers. Ahead to Whitfield for the hammer. Three minutes to play in the first half. Point streak extending their lead to 9, 35, 26. If point streak wants to put this game in the bag, they got to run out Kosovo. Co and that's going to be on the fast break. Kosovo's playing good defense, and they got to take advantage in the fast break. Just as you were talking about a fast break, yet another one, PJ. Point streaks, Terry Buchanan with the layup, 37-26, just like that, point streak by 11. The key to a fast break is always court vision, and as you can see in this game, point, point streak has that vision, and they're finding their players to get buckets. Dana Kendrick from 16 feet, knocking down the jumper, 37-28. An offensive foul by Point Streak to the chagrin of head coach Lewis Lofton. We've got a timeout on the floor, 2.17 to play in the first half, 37-28. Point Streak ahead. This is the Global Basketball Summer League on Global Basketball TV. Welcome back to the Global Basketball Summer League. Sean Wally alongside P.J. Balbin. Game number one, day number two. 37-28 to score. Point streak in white with the lead. Kosovo with the ball. Final two minutes of the first half. Thompson being double teamed. Top of the key to Boggs. The long two rattles around and out. Point streak with the ball, but it's knocked away by Corey Chandler. He gets it down low to Boggs. Ball knocked out of bounds. Point streak last to touch it. Again, this is going to be a game of who makes the run and who hustles harder. And you can see in this score that point streak has been hustling harder, and that's why they have that lead. Thompson with it for Kosovo. The skip pass to Boggs. Boggs driving the left side of the lane off the window, going with the wrong hand. The right hand, he can't get it to go. Back comes point streak, minute 30 left. The three ball on the way is short. 
Young can't get it to go. Ball is volleyed around and we have a foul on the floor. Foul on point streak, so Kosovo will take over. Always gotta make those layups. Uh, everyone misses them, but at that time, we couldn't be missing those shots right there. Kosovo wanting to cut into the deficit. They are down 37-28. Into the lane, the bucket is good by Dana Kendred. 37-30, point streak with the ball and the lead. Going down low is Flanard Whitfield. He is hammered, fouled, and still muscles up the shot. Count the bucket, 39-30. Whitfield heading to the line for one shot. That's a beautiful finish by Whitfield. You could see the strength. He went to the right room, Sean. Whitfield trying to extend their Point streak lead to 10, and he does not. Rebound to Boggs. Under a minute to play in the first half. Kosovo into the lane. Chandler wanted the foul, doesn't get it. Ball knocked away by Point Street. On the run, Rivers finds Clark. He can't get the flush to go, but he is fouled. And Joel Clark will head to the free throw line for two shots. Point Streak is hustling hard. They're getting buckets and they're getting to the free throw line, exactly what Coach Lewis Lofton wants. Thirty-nine thirty, as Joel Clark has two shots, knocks down the first one. Great rotation, a ten-point point streak advantage, forty to thirty. Forty-six point three seconds to play in the first half. Second free throw on the way by Clark. Karam's off the back of the iron. Bog skies for the rebound. Coming close to half, you're going to be thinking what coach, what both coaches, Coach Ricky George and uh, Coach Luce Lofton, are going to be telling to their teams once the final buzzer rings. Thompson, the great spin move out by the three-point line, frees himself into the lane, lays it up and in off the window, 40-32, point streak by eight. If you're thinking in the, he uh, in the head of coach Ricky George, you gotta be thinking, just chip away and we'll come back in the third quarter. Rivers, a nifty drive, can't get the shot to go. The putback tip is good, but we have a whistle. What is the call? I think they're counting the bucket, Sean. Kosovo hit with the foul. Flanard Whitfield to the line for one shot. The bucket indeed was good. Ten point lead as the shot doesn't go. Under ten seconds to play, first half. Point streak, loses the ball. Two seconds. Thompson with it, loses the ball, and that will end the first half of play with a 10-point lead for Point Streak heading to halftime, 42 to 32. And we will get it now to our sideline reporter, Chase Sr., with an interview with Point Streak head coach, Lewis Lofton. Chase, take it away. see why you wouldn't be mad. They're trying to chip away and then they lose it because they won't hustle back and get back on defense. Hey Chase, did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? No. I said uh, we'll get it over to you with head coach Lewis Lofton. Chase, take it away so you can say whatever. You want to trade? <laughs> want to trade? People wouldn't understand my Yo, video. You need this mic, right? I said the score. 
before, before I talked with you. Okay, y'all ain't gotta interact. I'm trying to interact with y'all. Yay! I like you excited to be here or something. All right. Summer Camp Kids. Say hi. Thanks, guys. I'm here with head coach for Point Streak, Lewis Lofton. Lewis, you guys take a 10-point lead into the half, but Kosovo stormed back from a 24 deficit. How were you able to stave off that run? Well, we had to play defense before we gave them easy transition plays. As I can recall, about six points off an uh, easy layup. And I think if we would have stopped that, I think we could have been up about almost about 12, 13, almost 12, 14 points. And the offense looks rhythmic, and the defense is very active. What were you telling your guys before the game? Hey, relax. It's day two. Day one, it was really nervous. Day two, now they settle down a little bit. Now they execute their offense. Yesterday, they got into a lot of one-on-one -on -one instead of trusting themselves and be able to set good picks and uh, try and get to the basket. So today, we're trying to focus on getting to the basket. What's the biggest thing you have to work on in the second half? Uh, boxing out and knocking down the open shot. All right, guys, back to you. Get those when you're done, when you get a chance. <coughs> okay. Chase, what did he have to say? Um, I asked him about skating off that run. Um, yes, no, pretty much. Uh, I said, what do you have to do in the second half? Better be y'all. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, the Global Basketball Summer League. Sean Wally alongside P.J. Balbin as we get set for second half action. Point streak in white, Kosovo in blue. Point streak up 42-32, and they have the ball. Both Kosovo and point streak have really good shooting percentages going into the second half, uh, with Kosovo having 42% shooting, and then we have point streak with 44%. Foul is on Point Streak's number six, which I don't have on my roster, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry. That is Kosovo's Dana Kindred with the foul. Point Streak down low, can't get it to go. Point Streak finally gets the ball. Loses it in the lane. Kosovo and Kendra to come away with it. Point Streak back. McNeely with the steal on the run. He is bumped and fouled, can't get the layup to go. Chris McNeely to the line for two shots. Yeah. 
At halftime, you got to be thinking Coach Lewis Lofton told them to get back to the pace they started in the first game, in the first quarter. Well, in the halftime interview with reporter Chase Sr., basically Coach Lewis Lofton said they do. They have to get back to defense. They have to do the fundamentals right and quit settling for easy jump shots. On the opposite side, Ricky Cleveland George was very hot and animated with his team that they weren't doing enough on defense and they weren't contesting jump shots and they were not sharing the ball enough. And they were down 20 to four. And they got back to within four or five points. And now they're down 11, 43-32. Brandon Boggs is going to the free throw line. And um, as Sean said, uh, Coach Ricky Cleveland George is livid. And I mean livid. And he wants his team to come back. He wants these guys to be playing as good as he knows they can. Leading scorer for Kosovo in the first half is Keon Sankey with nine on, on three of five shooting. Flanard Whitfield for Point Streak has 15. He's shooting seven of 12, so Whitfield definitely the big man down low for Point Streak. Yeah, he had a really good first half. He had uh, his good post moves, and he got some good free throw shots. 9-13 to play in the third period, 43-34, point streak back on the attack. Whitfield, top of the key, sets a screen for McNeely. McNeely cross court, driving the baseline, can't find anybody. It's Hoskins, Hoskins back to McNeely, his floater doesn't go, but McNeely stays with it, tips it up and in. 45-34 point streak by 11. That's an amazing hustle play by McNeely and um, just shows that he wants the ball. Chandler with it in front of his own bench. Six to shoot. Into the lane is Boggs. His layup off the window is good just before the shot clock expires. That was a great pass and drive, but he had the shot. And if uh, Kosovo wants to come back, they can't be settling for layups. They gotta be taking some shots. Good ball movement by Point Streak. Away from the ball, we have a foul on Kosovo's Dana Kendred. You can see as the second half started, the intensity from both coaches and both teams rose up from the start of the first quarter. Point streak inbounds to McNeely. McNeely working off the screen from Whitfield. Hoskins with it. His penetration is stopped. Nice defense by Chandler. Kosovo comes away with it. On the break is Chandler. He lays it up and in, 45-38. Point streak's got to get back on defense. They can't be, can't be settling and hanging their heads uh, over turnovers. They got to get back and possibly stop a bucket. Good defense applied by Kosovo. Until that foul there, Stephen Harris hit with the foul. Forty-five, thirty-eight point streak in the lead. Seven thirty-five to play, third period. Hoskins to McNeely, down low to Clark. His left hand floater doesn't go. Ball loose on the floor, foul is called. He tried that Kareem jump hook. Hopefully it'll go next time, but not this time. Dana Kendred hit with another foul. That's two quick fouls here in the period for Kendred. Hoskins to inbound. Hoskins finds McNeely. Swing it down low on the block. Kick it back out to Hoskins. The long jumper doesn't go. Rattles off the rim. Kosovo on the run. Just think about this, Sean. This is the first session, and we have uh, other people and uh, apparently better people coming. And if we just if we see better people than this, then this is going to be a really good week. 
McNeely on the drive for point streak. Shot doesn't go, but he is fouled and he will head to the free throw line for two shots. Chandler, Corey, or Corey Chandler to the free throw line, excuse me. First one's good. Seven oh one to play in the third period. Second free throw on the way by McNeely, knocking it down. Kosovo's trying to, uh, to finally get a lead. Ever since it's been 0-0, point streak has always had the lead. Nice drive in the lane by Michael McChristian. Nobody stopped his penetration. He lays it up and in off the window. 47-40, Kosovo within seven. If Kosovo wants to win this game, they have to keep up that uh, pressure on the ball off the inbound. McNeely's pass down low is intercepted by Kosovo. Under the basket, shot is rejected. Dang, he sent him back to the kitchen with that block. Dana Kendrick down low with the layup off the window. 47-42, Kosovo within five. McNeely with it for point streak. Finds Hoskins, the jumper from 17 is good. Seven point, point streak advantage, 49 to 42. Brandon Boggs, a three from the far side is good. 49, 45, just a four point lead for point streak. As this game is winding down, it's gonna be about who's gonna make the shots at what time. And right now, it's a shootout. Hoskins with the long two, 51-45, another three on the way. Kosovo can't get it to go. Rebound to Whitfield and point streak. Seems like Hoskins and Boggs are having a little game within a game, if you get what I'm saying. They're going shot after shot. Who's gonna make it and who's not? Whitfield misses a three for point streak. Chandler with it, slowly working the offense. Down low finds Kendrick wide open at the cup who lays it up and in. 51-47, 4.45 to play in the third. What a beautiful look and a beautiful uh, layup, beautiful execution. Hoskins is bumped, fouled, the shot off the window is good. Count the bucket, foul on Corey Chandler. And we've got a timeout on the floor with 4.38 to play in the third period. 51-47 point streak in the lead. We'll return to Las Vegas after this on Global Basketball TV. Welcome back to the Global Basketball Summer League in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Doolittle Community Center, Sean Wally alongside PJ Balbin. We've got a good contest here in the third period. 53-47 point streak ahead of Kosovo. Point streak in white. 
at the free throw line is Marquez Hoskins who nails the free throw attempt. So far in this game, uh, just like yesterday, Hoskins has showed up ready to play and he's performed in clutch moments. Right when point streak need, needs buckets, he gets it for him. Dixon driving the baseline on the far side off the window, the bank is open. 54-49, Kosovo within five. Hoskins trying to break the double team, finds Young. Back to Hoskins, they swing it around to Rivers. Rivers, the jumper from the far side is short. Tipped outside to Hoskins. Point streak maintains possession. That's a good shot, just not a uh, good enough execution. Hoskins on the far side, backing down his man. Their turnaround floater off the window is good. Whistle and foul. Will they allow the continuation? When you needed a bucket and you need to get the lead up, who do you go to? You go to Hoskins, and he performs. Thompson hit with the foul. Bucket is good. Hoskins, one free throw on the way and in. 57-49, just like that. Point streak back up by eight. It's amazing point guard material by Hoskins. Nifty move on the baseline. That's Thompson. He can't finish the shot, though. Point streak back on the attack. Off the window, Terry Buchanan misses the layup, but a foul is called. And Ricky Cleveland George not happy at the call. But nonetheless, point streak back to the free throw line. You may be able to hear Ricky Cleveland George and his displeasure at the call, saying it's a quote, terrible call. The question is, when doesn't he say that? And he has been warned by the officials. Hopefully he won't let his team down and get kicked out with that big mouth. <laughs> Both coaches got it. Three officials on the floor here for the Global Basketball Summer League. One from the National Basketball Association Developmental League and two from international FIBA rules. And actually right now we have two D-League officials on the floor. A 10 point point streak advantage, Kosovo with the ball. Driving in the lane, losing his balance as Harris can't get the left hand floater to go. That's why they say the backboard is your best friend, Sean. Point streak, Hoskins, the floater is short. Ball is loose, players knocked to the floor. And point streak hit with the foul. Kosovo to inbound. With time winding down in this third quarter, uh, coming close to the fourth, you can see the intensity and you can see in their eyes how bad they want this win, both teams. A 59-49 lead for point streak, 2.52 to play in the third period. Little confusion on the floor right now. Harris to inbound for Kosovo, he gets it to Thompson. Thompson being guarded by Rivers, across half court. Harris swings it to Thompson. Thompson to Sankey. Swing it outside to Dixon. We have a, is it a shot clock violation or a foul? Officials talk it over and they go with a shot clock violation. Point streak with the ball. 
You can tell by the reactions of the players and the coaches on the court, this game is getting down to the wire and it's only almost the fourth quarter. Rivers a three straight away is short, clangs off the front iron. The put back is good by Chris McNeely, 61-49. Point streaks lead, getting a little larger. That was a deep shot and you question where his range is. Sankey can't get the long jumper to go. Point streak back, looking to extend their lead. Into the lane, the circus shot doesn't go by Young. Kosovo, rebound and on the run. Michael McChristian takes it all the way to the cup, lays it up and in. Kosovo trying to chip away at this lead, hoping they can get somewhat of a single digit deficit. Eight seconds to shoot, point streak. Working the offense, four on the shot clock. Rivers out of the far corner. Clangs off the front of the rim. Harris comes away with it across half court. Throws the ball out of bounds. Point streak takes over on the turnover. Final minute of play in the third period. Young with it for point streak. Buchanan, top of the key. Looking down low for Clark. Instead, he backs up near the half court stripe. Working off a pick from Clark. Cross court pass. They find McNeely, shot doesn't go, but Clark is there for the rebound and put back. 63-51, point streak by 12. It's all gonna be about who makes a shot and when. Sankey driving the baseline for Kosovo. His up and under shot doesn't go, but a foul is called. Keon Sankey to the line with his team down 12, 63 to 51. If you're rooting for Kosovo, you gotta be thinking, Who's going to be the hero? Who's going to be the one that brings us back? First free throw good. An 11 point point streak advantage. Second free throw on the way. Short. Rebound to point streak. Young directing traffic in front of the scorer's table. About a four second differential on the shot clock and game clock as the third period winds down. Young, his shot is short, he follows it, can't get the rebound. Kosovo on the run, final three seconds of the period. Shot doesn't go by McChristian and that will end the third period of play here in Las Vegas. 63-52 point streak by 11, fourth quarter coming up after this. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, the site of Global Basketball Summer League action. Sean Wally alongside P.J. Balbin. The fourth quarter of play, game number one on the second day of the 
international part of the competition. 63-52 point streak by 11, PJ. Yeah, this is going to be a close game, and it's going to be fight all the way to the buzzer. And you got to be thinking, if you're Coach Ricky George, if you're going to keep that full court pressure, and if you're going to um, quicken the pace. Point streak in white, Kosovo in blue. Kosovo with the ball down 11. Can they cut into this point streak lead? They've been trying all game, but every time they get closer and closer, point streak says, nope, not today. The long two is good by Keon Sankey. Kosovo within nine. Hoskins with it for point streak. Hoskins. Trying, to, oh, sorry. trying to get into the lane, he can't. Hoskins has been having a really good game for point streak. He's been showing up and he's been playing good. Whitfield down low, steps on the baseline, turnover to Kosovo, just what Kosovo needed. 63-54, Kosovo down nine, and they have the ball. Closest they've got to being tied is within six points. So you're wondering if they can get a lead or even closer. Kendrick, the long three doesn't go, but there for the tip in for Kosovo is Keon Sankey. Don't look now, 63-56, Kosovo trying to mount a comeback. Three on the way, the shot doesn't go. It would not have counted an offensive foul. Kosovo takes over, and they are cutting in to this point streak lead, PJ. Yep, it's gonna be about who's gonna stay and stick to their fundamentals and who's gonna play hard. And so far in this quarter, uh, Kosovo has been playing hard, and that's why they're chipping away and getting closer. Chandler with it for Kosovo, directing traffic. And down low for Kendred. Kendred, the turn away, fadeaway floater doesn't go. Rebound to Chandler. His shot clangs off the iron. Point streak finally comes away with a board. Hoskins, the skip pass ahead to Buchanan. His shot partially rejected. Kosovo, rebound back on the attack. 63 56. Point streak in the lead. 8.05 to play in the fourth quarter. Away from the ball. Sankey hit with the foul of Kosovo. I believe that was a defensive three in the key, a technical foul. Make that Hoskins of Point Street. As Kendred. Hits the technical foul shot, 63-57. Kosovo climbing to within six. In a game close like this, Point Street can't afford to be making simple and little mental mistakes such as this. Nice idea by Thompson, but not good court vision as the skip pass went right to Point Street. Jumper is good by point streak, 65-57, 7.40 to play. So far in this game, I would say Whitfield and Marquez uh, Haskins are playing really good, and they're really helping their team out right now. And there he goes, getting the ball loose. Good D by Hoskins of point streak, stripping the ball. Ball goes out of bounds, the last touch by Point Streak. Driving the lane for Kosovo is Dana Kendrick. The layup with the left hand off glass, 65, 59, 7, 15 to play. You gotta be thinking, does Kosovo have enough in the tank to get the win and possibly uh, take, take out the sleep? Great D by Thompson, ahead to Kendrick, who once again lays it up and in, 65, 61, Point Streak by four. Point streak back on the attack. The jumper is short by McNeely. Kosovo, a chance to get within two or possibly one. 
At the next dead ball, we got subs coming in for Coach Lewis Lofting. And um, you never know, they could change the game, they could help change the pace. Thompson finds Kendrick. Kendrick looking down low. Instead, the long jumper is off the iron. Offensive rebound by Kosovo. It is putback is good. Corey Chandler on the boards. The putback, he is fouled, heading to the free throw line for a potential three point play. Coach Lofton knows what it's like to be down by 10 plus. Yesterday, he was down by 15 and came back within one, and they lost their game to scouting for you yesterday by just an in and out jumper. So he knows what it's like, and he needs to get his team in it so that they can keep this lead. Chandler looking to cut the point streak lead to one if he can convert on the free throw. Shot on the way and in. 65-64 point streak only for the one point advantage. Now this game is gonna come up to uh, who's gonna step up, who's gonna be the hero, and who's gonna be the one. Rivers, the long three in front of his own bench, shot is short. Kosovo with the rebound. And away from the ball, we have Brandon Boggs of Kosovo hit with the foul. Point streak to inbound on the far side. 65-64, point streak by one, 6.09 to play. Point streak inbounds to Whitfield. Hoskins takes the inbounds, gets it down low to Whitfield. We have a foul away from the ball. It's defensive three seconds again. That's an NBA rule that most of these guys aren't used to. Um, it's kind of like offensive three in the key, but it's um, on defense and it's a technical foul. So um, Rivers converts the shot and extends the lead. Point streak now up by two, 66, 64. Rivers takes the inbounds pass. Rivers working on the screen from Whitfield. Robinson, the three straight away is short off the front of the rim. Rebound to Young. Young resets the offense. 15 to shoot. Young working on the two man game. Instead, finds Rivers outside for the long three. Again, off the front of the iron. Down low, we have a foul called. Foul on Kosovo's Michael McChristian. Five thirty-two to play in the game. 66-64, point streak by two. Point streak to inbound on the far side. We've got a timeout on the floor. Point streak ahead, 66-64. We'll return to Las Vegas and the Global Basketball Summer League after this. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, the Global Basketball Summer League. Sean Wally alongside PJ Balbin. 
We're getting down to it. The final 532 in this contest. A tight one between Point Streak with the ball and Kosovo in blue. 66-64, Point Streak with the lead. Kosovo thought they had a steal. And we have a foul, which I believe is on Brandon Boggs of Kosovo. Point Streak will inbound one more time on the far side. You can tell Kosovo did not agree with that call. Hoskins inbounds to Young. 15 on the shot clock. Young, top of the key for three is short. Boggs racing up across half court. Thompson working on Rivers. The high arcing pass to Boggs. Boggs driving the baseline, going for the dunk. Doesn't get it to go. Whistle is blown, and we've got a foul on Flanard Whitfield of Point Streak. Kosovo attacking the rack, getting to the free throw line, which is how they've been able to get back in this contest, and they can tie it up here with both free throws if Boggs can knock him down. These last five minutes are honestly going to be about who's going to make their free throws and who's going to stick to the fundamentals and who's going to perform. Boggs to tie the game. Free throw on the way. And it is short. Rebound by Kosovo. Looked like a push off, but no call as Thompson's shot doesn't go, but he is fouled. Going back to the free throw line is Kosovo. It's actually Corey Chandler doing good work down low, heading to the free throw line. And this game is tied, which is pretty unbelievable considering it was 20 to four in the first period. Point streak with a huge advantage. Both of these teams had really good comebacks yesterday. Um, and now it's going to be who executes. And right now, Kosovo is executing, and that's why they're almost uh, leading the game. And now they are 67 66. Kosovo by one. I believe that's their first uh, lead in the entire game, actually. It absolutely is. And we have a turnover by, by point streak. Kosovo to take over possession. Kosovo head coach Ricky Cleveland George happy with what he has seen here in this fourth period. If you're Coach Lewis Lofton, you got to be uh, not happy with how your team is playing right now. They got to be hustling more and they can't be settling for jump shots and free throws. Got a foul on Whitfield of Point Streak. Kosovo to inbound on the far side. That's Corey Chandler. Chandler gets it into Thompson. Thompson in front of his own bench. Trying to find Boggs down low. He does on the baseline. The turnaround floater too strong. Rivers comes away with the rebound. Point streak down by one. Rivers attacking the rack. His layup is short. He had a good look at it. Couldn't get it to go. That was honestly an execution play. And right now, uh, not executing right now is point streak. Long two from Sankey is good. 69-66, Kosovo by three. 3.50 to play. Rivers working off the screen. Rivers to Hoskins. Hoskins, the long jumper, clangs off the back of the iron. Kosovo comes away with it. He calls a timeout, smart move by Corey Chandler, timeout on the floor, 69-66. Kosovo by three, will return after this to the Global Basketball Summer League.
Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, the site for Global Basketball Summer League action. Sean Wally alongside P.J. Balbin. It's a furious fourth quarter, the final three minutes and 38 seconds as Kosovo finally has the lead, 69-66 over point streak, and Kosovo has the ball. Kosovo has been working hard all game, and they finally, uh, all that work finally paid off for them now that they have the lead. Sankey with it down low on the block for Kosovo. He's double teamed. Dixon outside for a three. That is no good by Thompson. Kosovo, the offensive rebound. Boggs with it for Kosovo. To Thompson. Top of the key. Reset the offense. 10 to shoot. Thompson, the spin move in the lane. Outside to Sankey. Shot clangs off the iron. Point Street comes away with the rebound. McNeely kicks it outside to Hoskins. Hoskins to Clark. Clark gets it to Robinson who drives the lane. Floater clangs off the backboard. Foul is called on Keon Sankey of Kosovo, giving two foul shots to point streak. Right now, if you're point streak, you gotta keep hustling. You gotta go back to what you did the first quarter, which is have a fast pace and get fast break buckets. Robinson knocks down the first free throw. Second one on the way, and good. Robinson's been fairly quiet this game, when yesterday, the first day of the tournament, he had a good game. Yeah, he did. Uh, right now, we got to have someone on Point Street step up. Hopefully it'll be Robinson. We got to have someone. A nice move into the lane by Corey Chandler, and he finds Boggs for the flush. 71-68, Kosovo by three. You can see the miscommunication on defense, which caused that bucket to go in. Clark's jumper is short. He follows his own rebound and gets it. And Whitfield took too many steps, shuffled his feet before he started dribbling, traveling the call. Kosovo takes over with a three-point lead, 71-68. Just 2.08 remains in this contest. Basketball is a game about poise and execution. And right now, ever since the fourth quarter started, Kosovo has been executing, and they have been poised. You can see it all starts with the point guard. And you can see how now they're all calm and they're getting shots they want. After a Kosovo miss by McChristian. We've got point streak on the break, a foul down low. And we have a technical foul on Hoskins of point streak exactly what they did not need at this stage of the game. Point Streak head coach Lewis Lofton cannot believe the call. Just 149 to play. Boggs to the line, shooting the technical foul shot. Every point precious in the final two minutes of this contest. Foul shot, technical foul shot up and in. 72-68. A four point lead for Kosovo. And you can see Hoskins trying to explain to the ref what he did and why he did it. He's still not sure why a technical foul was called. Lewis Lofton wants to talk things over with his point streak team. I'm out on the floor, 149 to play, 72, 68, point streak by four. We'll return to Las Vegas after this. Dang. That was crazy. Yeah. Chase, you want another? No, sorry. 
Both? I don't think I'm doing anything. Sure. Welcome back to the Global Basketball Summer League in Las Vegas. Sean Wally alongside PJ Bauman. The final minute 49 to play, fourth period, 72-68. Kosovo in the lead. We'll see if Coach Lewis Lofton can get his point streak team to execute and get back in this lead. Yep, point streak is not getting their way right now and you can see it in their faces and you can see it right before the timeout was called. Hoskins into the lane, bumps his defender, and an offensive foul is called, charging, turnover to Kosovo, and PJ, point streak is really unraveling here late in the fourth. Yeah, that, apparently that timeout didn't really help, and, come, and a mistake like that from a point guard isn't helping that much either. Boggs with it for Kosovo. But Christian, seven to shoot. Sankey with it, ball is stripped away. Point streak on the run, three on two break. They cannot capitalize, they kick it outside. Ball is lost, out of bounds. Point streak turns it over to Kosovo. Point streak not taking advantage of opportunities as they're down by four. We got Rivers uh, coming in for Robinson, and we got 110 left in the fourth quarter. McChristian inbounds for Kosovo, gets it into Thompson. Thompson across half court. Thompson calls his own number along the baseline. The bank is open, bucket is good. No foul called. Officials do stop play, I'm not sure why. So they want an additional second put back on the game clock. 58.7 to play. 74-68, Kosovo by six. It's almost getting too little too late for point streak. They almost have to shoot threes. And Hoskins does, three on the way, rattles around and out, but there for the offensive rebound, his point streak, put back does not go, as Clark is on the glass. Kosovo hit with the foul, that is Keon Sankey, sending Joel Clark to the free throw line. Just like what point streak did to Kosovo in the first quarter is what Kosovo did to point streak in the fourth quarter. They came out ready to play, and they came on full throttle, and now they have the lead. They worked for it, they deserve it. Clark needing to convert these free throws to give his team a shot. Just 49.5 to play. Second free throw rattles around and falls in. Full court press applied by point streak. 45 seconds to play. Kosovo doing a nice job of breaking the press. Rivers hit with the foul. 74-70, point streak down four. Thirty-seven point two to play here in the fourth quarter. The winner of this game can play for third place tomorrow. The loser, the best they can do is fifth place. Stolen away by point streak. They've got a shot, 29 seconds to play. The jumper is good along two. 74-72, point streak only down two. Kosovo 
breaking the trap, and they do. Layup is no good by Dana Kendrick, but he will head to the free throw line for two shots. Foul on Flanard Whitfield, the point streak. That call honestly could have gone either way. Um, it looked like the ball was loose, but I'm not the one wearing the zebra stripes. Kendrick converts the first free throw, extending the point streak lead to three. 75-72, this next shot is big for Kendrick and both teams. It's gonna be a three point lead or four if he converts. Knocks it down, 76-72, point streak down four with the ball. Final 20 seconds. Young driving the lane. Instead of the layup, kicks it outside for a long three. Kicks off the back of the iron, and that will probably do it. Final five seconds. Kosovo with the ball. Point streak looks content to give them the victory, and the buzzer sounds, and Kosovo miraculously comes away with the four-point victory, 76-72. That was a beautiful game by Kosovo, and um, Point Street just lost it once the fourth quarter started. Uh, both coaches had a really good game, and uh, overall, Coach Ricky George uh, made his team perform, and they did. A 20-4 deficit, Kosovo overcame. Head coach Ricky Cleveland George pleased with the final outcome. Probably not some things in between, but his team finally listened in the end. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, a lot of it came from their defense. Uh, I always heard the saying, uh, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. And even though this is a game, the defense really set the tone and it changed the game for Kosovo. For PJ Balbin, I'm Sean Wally here in Las Vegas. Let's send it over to sideline reporter Chase Sr. with an interview with our coaches. And we'll be back here on Global Basketball TV with game number two after this.